Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So I know that you like the movie Fight Club. My I favorite like, movie. I like number movie. one movie with a bullet. 100%. I like the movie Fight Club too. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Yeah. Spoiler alert. It ends. Uh, <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> so, he is not wrong. Speaking of the ending of the movie. Uh, at the end of the movie, they, they use the Pixie song, Where Is My Mind? Yeah, Where Is My Mind? So I guess uh, what's happened is at the beginning of the movie, it, at the beginning of the song, it goes, ooh, stop. And then the song starts, and then, and then it goes back, goes, ooh. Well, I guess what's ha- what started happening sure. is it says stop so clearly that it, it's shutting people's alarms off on their phone. And, like, there was a post on Reddit that there was a guy that, like, his every so often, his alarm wouldn't go off for work. And he couldn't figure out why. And it come to find out that numerous people have reported that, like, that Pixie song, when it plays, if you have, I think, a Google Pixel phone. Yeah. The, the, it act, the, the I think, like, the ooh activates it because it's, like, Google, like, you know, the Google part. And then it goes, stop. And it de- it turns all your alarms off, so people were like waking up late for work and like shit. So for- what you're telling me is that in the very niche circumstance that you happen to have this certain phone, and then you happen to put the Pixies that one song of of, of, of all the Pixies catalog. I mean, that's probably the only one. I mean, I mean you know, some of their stuff's pretty good. But- I'm not gonna, you know, clown the pixie heads. What are they called? I don't know. The pixie sticks. Sure. You're not gonna clown them. Pixieites. But if you happen to have this one version of this phone or the phones that can have this, this which I'm gonna tell you right now, if I could shut my phone alarm off by saying stop, I'm late for everything. 100%. Oh, it's a bad, it's a bad feature, period. It's horrible. If all you can do is go, Google, stop. And yeah, your alarm shuts yeah. off. Insane. That's, I'm, I'm never getting anywhere. Yeah. I'll die in my room asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll die in my sleep because I'm never waking up. Um, anyway, but no, no, so yeah, if you have this one song, this one phone, and you get this one pixie song, what is this like an epidemic? It's like seven people. This is like seven people who people have this listen problem. to the pixies. <laughs> but who's listening to it as their cell phone alarm? I'm insinuating. No, it's not people. their alarm. It like if it's playing on like a playlist, it will turn off your alarms. Who the hell? So that's even worse. That's even worse. I have to say, is that even worse? I could see a bunch of people using that song as like the an Pixies alarm. have nine point two million listeners a month. What that mean? So nine point two million people. This could be happening. To. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me take it up. So what? Maybe ten percent of that? Not even. It's one percent of the population. One percent. Yeah, because it's wait. Hold on. Not nine point two divided by three hundred and thirty million. How many? How many? So two point seven eight percent of the people have a chance for that to happen, but they have to have a Google Pixel phone, which is an off-brand. <laughs> seven people! <laughs> so, so, how did somebody write an article? Somebody, this is a chat GPT article. <laughs> this is a goddamn chat. This is an AI article. <laughs> <laughs> I hope... the You know what? As soon as that starts happening, we're only doing articles written by... I'm going to start going to chat GPT and be like, write me an article about this, and then I'm going to use that no, as the article on the podcast. not even freaking wrong, man. I we'll, be, uh, we'll be the Crazy Town AI podcast. Yeah, don't think that. I haven't thought about it. It's 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 pretty intense on some of the stuff they got. Did you sign up for a chat GPT account yet? No, I have been... Uh... I like the D's, the Dzo, the uh, the AI generated art thing. It's pretty cool. I honestly think we should do a video on it. Like you that's can like, cool. I'm in. Was it, it's oh, you know, that's something that we could do. Um, but it's like a, it's like an app. I shouldn't say it's an app. It's like a website, and you just like type in a description for what you want to see. I want to see a donkey seal, and you can just. Can you, you do like adult rated things? You can. You can be like, I want to see a lady. Fill in the blanks. Yeah. I want to see a guy fill in the blanks. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, I don't. I don't know how you would necessarily like. I don't know. You so you go to, to the art and you type two girls, one cup," and let's see what pops up. I guess you'd have to describe like the body parts and stuff. It's it. It seems to me is that though that uh the Dizo Dizo website. I think it's Dizo. It seems like it uh kind of like leans into that adult oriented stuff. It seems like people. Have, like, that's what of... everybody uses everything for. Exactly. That's like that's exactly. like they they put AI things. The next thing you know, it's using racial slurs because like people <laughs> just go and just start using f bombs and n words 
and everything yep. like they can <laughs> to get to learn. Good old America, sex and racism. I love it. Yeah, it's really <laughs> the the pit in hate of any other hate. Yeah, I guess hate racism, <laughs> any other hate racism. I mean, whatever, dude. It is what it is. Yeah. It is what it it's is. It's like, well, that's like you let let the let let everyone pick the store that uh, that uh, that uh, Mister Worldwide goes to. They vote the one for Alaska. You can name a boat. It's Bodie McBoatface. Like anything, just to meme anything oh, in the world. Yeah, 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 the yeah. world will let will make it memed. <laughs> Mister Worldwide, you talking about Pitbull? Yeah, I think it was Pitbull. He was like, "I'll let you guys vote which Walmart I go and perform at," and then they like the one in Alaska. And then they did the one in Alaska yeah. because they just to meme it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you. Go to that yeah, one. Yeah, snow plow mix snow plow face. You know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. People are definitely going to be like, "Which one should we pick? The funniest one." Well, yeah, nobody wants you to go to L.A. You're going to go to L.A. on your own. You got to you win the contest to go to Alaska, bro. Uh, I can see the. he was thinking, oh, come to the Walmart in my town. Go to Walmart and Ashtabula would have been funnier than Alaska. Right. Too bad people don't know that exists. Pitbull would have just, like, died. He would have went there and just <laughs> fell over. Been like, oh, Lord, I've never seen so many yokels. <laughs> yokels. Is Ashtabula yokels. considered yokels now? I don't think so. I've been there. People don't look like yokels. I don't even know what a yokel looks like, but, like, I wouldn't describe them as yokels. I always think of, I mean, like, so here's the thing, like, what kills me is, like, that whole southern drawl is canonical with locals, so you have to be a yokel, you have to have a drawl. Yeah, it's like Cletus the slack jawed yokel. Yeah, you yeah. have to have a draw. But it's so weird to me how people up north have drawl who have never even seen, a, like, a palm tree or, like, I don't know. Like not snow. When for like I moved afterlife. to Minnesota for a year, everyone told me that I had an accent from Ohio, and they're up there talking about snow plows and shit snow like plows. that. And I'm like, I have the accent. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's accent. bringing a truck with you, did you? No, bro, get the get the fuck out of here. I ain't got no draw. Did you? Did you? Oh, oh, you got an accent? Like, dude, bro. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Yo, that Minnesota accent is one I wish I could perfect. I really want to like do some time. My mom there. has lived there for twenty years and she, she doesn't, doesn't even have it. Yeah. I mean, she, a little bit. Like if she says like snowplow or some stuff like snow that, plow. she gets those really. She'll get that long like the snowplow. Like you know, but it's not even that big. And she's been there twenty years. You gotta like it has to be bred in when you're a baby. I feel like you could get it though. Like I've heard of people who've gone to like England and yeah, like I want to. Fake ass bees, bro. <laughs> They just want. They just want to have one. I mean, I can. Oh yeah, I might. What do we do? Like, get the, get the hell out of here. I went there and visited. <laughs> but some of it's going to wear off on you. I mean, you know, some of it, especially if you're like, oh, what do you call this here? Oh, this is aluminium. It's a, it's a very aluminium. It's very patronizing to go there and take up somebody's accent that is not your authentic accent. I agree. Like, if you go to, like, Scotland, you start talking like a Scottish man. Like, that, no. I They're going to think you're a giant douche. I know, right? <laughs> it is funny, though. But there is people who, like, um, it's, it, it, it was funny. I noticed, like, my ex-wife was from the South. So she she barely, she didn't really have an accent. So, sometimes when she drank, she did. But when we moved back to Texas, bro... And, like, she was around other people that had it. That shit just, like, it just came right back. Like, it never left. Yeah. Like, when she was in Ohio, I would have never known she had an accent. Uh, Comes down here, you get around someone else with the accent, that shit yeah. just picks back up. Like, it would yeah. never left. I was yeah. like, oh, shit. It's like you're at your homeland. You just, like, you just, it all comes back. Yeah. It's all coming back. So it was like, I was like, I was going to say, that was, that was, she had a heavy one, man. That yeah, was, uh, it came back out of nowhere. Yeah, it was definitely there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I always had a thing where up north I would just like say like I don't know, gracias when I would say Gracias? Yeah. I say gyro and everybody hates it. Or I would say hola. I feel bad. Hola? Oh, like hola. I would just speak casual Spanish. You know, it was it was cool up north. You could just do that. You can't I don't, I don't know, feel like an like a hole when I do it in, in Texas cuz there's like a a ton of people that speak Spanish everywhere. Yeah, and I'm like oh, I don't want them to think I'm like being a jerk or anything. Yeah, yeah, man. I, uh, yeah, I, I get, I get, I get like, I, ha I sometimes like, okay, the part of Austin we live in, it's a, there's a really high Hispanic population in South Austin. There is. Sometimes I go like to the bank and I'm the only white dude in the entire place. Everyone's Hispanic. I mean, and like, know, I get that, but I'm black, and not white. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I get that. 
And like, I feel like sometimes I'm like, you know, should I say gracias? Just because like, that's like, <laughs> that's like, that's like, you know, <laughs> like, I mean, uh, this is how the races Jonas could achieve some sort of connection. If we could all just talk about our experiences with Hispanics, <laughs> well, <excuse me. laughs> we could solve racism. How is that? I don't because wanna... we all feel uncomfortable around Spaniards. I did not say that. You did. You I basically did. said, I don't know about these Spaniards. They make me uncomfortable. Oh, I remember saying that I don't that like now. their language, and I... that makes, it scares and confuses me. Isn't that what you just said? I, I guess I... I... That's all the time we have for today's episode. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazetown.com for Jonas. See you, Yep.